Is there any concern on your end about the uh, whole hood louver situation and how it might affect you, or do you guys have that kind of straightened out going forward? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's straightened out, but I think trying to figure out, you know, just when it's out of our control. I, I, I w let me rephrase that because it's not out of our control, but when you have no idea that it's on your car because we had nothing to do with trying to manipulate it or anything like that, it was just a part given to us that unfortunately had either work done or had was different than the other one so as we go through this process i think it's important to make sure we look at all the parts but it's unfortunate it easily could have been on my car uh and it's something that at college racing we had really nothing to do with when it came to trying to manipulate the rules it's just uh something unfortunate that we had on the race car that we weren't trying to mess with unfortunately so that's that's part of what we're going to fight and I guess it just shows that, we, you know, we probably got to be focused on every part of the race car and make sure whether it's given to us or not that it's within the rules. Brad Keselowski mentioned that uh, his team had noticed over the last year or so that there were parts that weren't right and they would let NASCAR kind of know there's a portal for it apparently. Had, have you guys reported any parts in the past? Oh, you'd have to talk to Chris and, and the crew chiefs on that. I, I just drive the race car. I, I don't understand most of it anyway. So. I don't think any of us do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> AJ, you being a former open wheel guy going to Florida next week, you're going to have Kimi Räikkönen and Ann Jensen button in the same race. What's that like for you? Oh, I mean, I think it's, it's freaking awesome, honestly. <laughs> like... This is what it what makes it fun is when you you get guys like that that come into our sport. You know, when I used to run Rolex and and things like that, that was I was more of a race fan at times because I love watching all forms of racing and and it was always fun to race against those guys. So when you get guys like Kimmy and, and Jensen showing up, uh, Jordan Taylor, you know that's it, it makes you step your game up and I love the fact that they are showing up and, and they're a part of NASCAR.